Hi, this is Dr. Matt Law. It's bringing you another knee moment from Knee Fit and Five and MSN Products. Today we're going to talk about what to expect as far as a meniscus surgery and the difference between a debridement of a meniscus and a repair of a meniscus. Oftentimes patients present to my office and they say they've had a meniscus repair and although they may have heard their surgeon say that, that is usually not the case. The amount of times that a meniscus repair is performed is very, very low percentage-wise compared to a meniscectomy or a debridement of a meniscus. So what we're talking about, again, is the meniscus, which is the uh, cartilage in between the femur and the tibia. And oftentimes you can get a tear of it, especially as we get older. You can also have a traumatic tear in a younger person. And those are two very important distinctions to make as a debridement is much, much, much more common and almost the only likely scenario in someone over 40 or so years old. And a repair is something that would happen more likely in combination with a uh, ligament tear such as an ACL tear. So with a debridement, what we're doing, or it's also called a meniscectomy, with arthroscopy, so we have our small little cuts, we go in, we're looking at the meniscus, and with a debridement, what we'll see is just some frayed little edges of the meniscus. And those are painful because they get caught, and when you twist, turn, bend too far, then it causes pain where they're still attached. So the lateral meniscus, the one over here, it's on the outside of the knee laterally, um, a debridement is where you just simply go, you're looking in with a camera and you use a little shaver, four millimeter typically diameter shaver, so a very small shaver, and you simply debride the area that's torn. You leave behind the good healthy cartilage or good healthy meniscus and take out only the torn part. So you're leaving the good behind, taking the bad out because the bad is what's causing the symptoms. Um, again, it's a very brief surgery. A lot of times it'll be uh, 20 minutes or less. Um, a repair of a meniscus is a completely different um, thing. In that case, what we're doing is we're taking the torn tissue and putting it back to where it was, putting something most commonly suture and putting it back in place and holding it there until it heals. The um, difference between a debridement and a repair um, Debridement, again, I said, usually occurs in older people where the meniscus is degenerative. Uh, a repair would occur in something that's a traumatic injury. You plant, twist, or pop, tear your ACL, and at the same time injure your meniscus. Well, that meniscus is repaired. If you're a, say, 45-year-old person who happens to tear their meniscus, then it's most likely just a debridement. Again, the debridement is by far the more common surgery to be have done. It's called a meniscectomy. The difference afterwards is uh, pretty significant too. As with a debridement, as spoke about in other videos, you can just get moving and you don't really have any limitations. After repair, most surgeons put limitations, especially on bending. They don't want to bend past 90 degrees to protect the repair. So that's the difference between a repair and a debridement or meniscectomy. I hope that clarifies some things. See you on another time.